want to wind on you Show you what this wasteland do To all sorts of things to you I wanna make you my boo Now I want to wind on you Show you what this body do Put this what is up you guys it's the welcome and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can go about overlocking your garments using your domestic sewing machine at home now as you guys can see on the table i've already laid out some of the few things that i am going to be using for this video so the first thing is going to be our first material this is a woven material by the name of poly cotton and it is a non-stretch material right next to it is our maroon material which is known as lycra this material is a four-way stretch material best used for activewear as well as swimwear and many other and then we have our zigzag footer right over there as you guys know this baby is very versatile and it is the footer that comes out from your sewing machine so this footer you can use it to do straight stitching and you can also use it to do zigzag stitching and i'm pretty sure you can also use it for many other types of stitching but for the time being we are going to be focusing on the straight stitch and the zigzag stitch then we already have a needle here as you guys are wondering why we have a needle here so this is my stretch needle because of i'm going to be zigzagging on this stretchy material and i do not want to use a needle that is not meant for this garment so that we can preserve and make sure that the garment is coming out proper because as you guys know using the wrong needle on a garment can actually ruin the garment itself I already actually have a, another needle that is inserted in my sewing machine and this one is going to be the one that we're going to use to sew the non-stretch material and I'm going to show you guys how you can go about doing that. So um, this, so in today's video we are going to be using our type A stitch and uh, H, yes, because I'm going to be using a one centimeter seam allowance and that is usually a standard seam allowance for us students in the fashion industry <laughs> or in fashion colleges, fashion universities, but seam allowance can vary from 0.5 millimeters to 1.5 centimeters depending on how frail or strong your material is. So I have set my tension to dial number five and I've already treaded my sewing machine. As you guys can see over here, I am using a black tread because of I wanted to contrast with the material that I am using over here. So you guys can see how the um the zigzag stitch will basically come out looking like. So I'm just gonna set you up guys properly so you guys can see exactly what I'm going to be doing. Ahead, And I have placed my material, as you guys can see, right over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin the wheel on the side, basically feeding the material itself. Okay, now that I'm there, then I just want to show you guys um, another step into sewing. Uh, I don't think I've showed you guys this step before, but I'm going to show it to you guys because it is essential for you to know. So another thing that I want you to keep note of is actually this baby over here. This is your backstitch baby and it is important for you when you are sewing. Every time you start your project, every time you start sewing, it is important for you to first straight, straight stitch about like three centimeters and then backstitch. Okay, not three centimeters, that's too big. Straight stitch about like one, two, three, and then backtrack, and then one, two, three again, and then go straight forward. I'm gonna make an example right now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to, um, is this the right, Ooh, okay, cool. Oh, sorry, my machine is off. Okay, um, one, two, and then we're going to press right over here, do not let go, and then we're gonna go back. And then we're gonna let it go and then bring it front again. And then we're just gonna straight stitch until we get to the end and repeat the same process. Okay, my material is not even, so don't mind me. I'm just gonna pull this out. Uh huh. So I have gone ahead, I have straight stitched. So you guys can see right at the beginning, it's a bit darker and thicker than the rest of the stitches and so on at the bottom. So this makes sure that your material does not come undone. Like the stitch itself does not come undone. So basically it locks the stitch in. Um, 
and there you guys go so you see I've cut it off I've snipped off this top bit here and there this baby cannot come undone unless I want it to with an unpicker so now I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to change my tent my 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 dial and I'm gonna go to H yeah I want the widest one possible and h is the widest of them all okay the biggest the widest biggest whichever one so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna go ahead again i'm gonna place my material so now i can already see where exactly it's going to sit i'm gonna place my material and i'm just going to put it in there like this and then now start stitching start zigzagging for first time, I do suggest that you guys take this process extremely slow, especially if you're a person who owns an own, like you have your own business and you don't have an overlocker as yet, then if you want to sell your garments to people, to customers and making sure that they're neat and tidy, then, and you're still new to the sewing business, then I would suggest that you make sure that you take this as slowly as possible. There is no rush, none whatsoever. I haven't particularly used this method in such a long time. The last time I used this method was in 2019 when I first started out my business and I didn't have an overlocker then, but I did buy an overlocker in 2020. So I have an overlocker now, but that's besides the point. So I'm just gonna take this slow because mm, I, I did not prep for this one. I'm just gonna clean it off really quick so as you guys can see this is how my baby came out and I'm gonna show you guys the back as well and you see it's all neat it's all tidy you really don't even have to go back and retrim this I would suggest that you um, backtrack as well backstitch over here oh it's not focusing okay I would suggest that can we focus oh thank you nice that you're listening to mommy I would suggest that you back stitch over here and as well as at the end of your garment that way to make sure that it's clean it's neat it's tidy it's just doing the things that needs to be done by the people so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to change my needle and then we are going to do the same thing for our stretch material and see if do we like the results or not so I don't think I've ever showed you guys this method as well, but I'm going to be showing you guys how you basically change the needle on your sewing machine. So I'm going to just lower the lever here and this is where you basically change it. And then you just twist this section over here and then there, your needle will come right off. So I'm going to just pull it out. See, this is my needle. Now I'm going to use my stretch needle. I'm going to replace it right over here. So as you guys can see, this area, this flat area right over here of your so of your needle. Ooh, can you just focus? This flat area of your needle will face the back. So your needle will sit basically like this. Where the number is at, the number must always face you if you're using a Empisol sewing machine domestic machine. So I'm just gonna hold it in like this and I'm going to go in there And I'm gonna lower this and then I'm just gonna re twist And there we go now we have changed our needle Ta-da! So now I'm gonna go ahead and thread my needle. So I've gone ahead and I have treaded my needle so now I am going to place my material right over here. First, I just want to make sure that it's perfectly aligned. And then I'm going to go ahead and straight stitch one centimeter, giving it a one centimeter seam allowance. 
So there we go. This is my stretchy material and I'm going to lower my needle in there, feed it once and then bring it right back up again. Then I'm going to hold my material down because I don't want to pin it up. And then it's going to be one, two, three, and then backtrack, one, two, three, and then bring it back to the front again and straight stitch all the way. And there we go. There is done. We have our straight stitch right over here. Really hope you are focusing and you're doing your job. Then I'm going to change my thingy and I'm going to put it on H again. So I have an idea here on how to place it. And hopefully this time we can backtrack our zigzag stitch. Let's so my machine ran, my bobbin ran out of tread. So I'm going to pick up from where I left off. And I'm just going to put in there. And then we're going to continue our job. Now, obviously, I don't like how this one is like. Um, let me just clean it off and then I'm going to show you guys how it looks like. Okay. Snip, 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 snip. Okay. <laughs> so this is basically how this one came out. Let me just lay them here so you guys can see them. So this was our first one and I like this one. Maybe it's because of it's a non-stretch material. It just came out better. Like look at it. It is so pretty. This one, mm -mm, I'm not happy with it. But this is generally how you can go about overlocking. Obviously, you have a variety of choosing which uh, zigzag stitch you want in terms of the size, like how wide it is, the distance. And also in terms of, you can also decide on do you want the stitch line to be closer to the zigzag line or if you even want it to be extra, like if you want to be an extra person, then you can make another straight stitch right over here going it down to give it a more you know overlocking uh look type of feel to it so yeah i hope you guys like this video and i will be uploading more videos uh regarding the types of stitches you can make with your um sewing machine i do know that uh, uh, i had a a viewer who asked about these stitches and they're definitely coming we're just going to work our way down the list okay and um i hope you guys like this please don't forget to subscribe please don't forget to like and don't forget to share with your family and friends so we can all be family and friends bye